Hello, welcome to Anson Griffin's uh, Occasional MATLAB Tutorials. Today we're going to be looking at the fast Fourier transform in the image processing area. I assume that you have a reasonable background in maths and we're not going to be doing the details of the Fourier transform. We just want to look at the MATLAB commands to get the fast Fourier transform. So the first one we're doing today is fairly simple and I've published it. I've made a PDF file of it and we're going to look at it here. So, just there where the mouse is, we cleared all the variables, we cleared the workspace. So, just where we had it, now we looked at rectangle, and in figure 1 we're going to show it. So we'll just go down to figure 1 at the moment, and there's the original image. Okay, so we just have an image, and there's some height there at the beginning. So let's go back, we get the Fourier transform of that image. What's the MATLAB command? FFT2F, that's okay. And now what we want to do is, let's look at it. How do we get the look of it there? Uh, we say I am show S and we just get the the um, the, apps, the Fourier transform of the image here. By the way, just in this line here, we've got the absolute value. Why? Because sometimes they're positive and negative. So we just, and that really mucks up the display. So we just got the positive of everything. So where I am now, we displayed it. Nothing that exciting. Because why? Because the Fourier transform is in effect at the four corners and we can't see it at the beginning. So how do we see the Fourier transform of it? Well, just sorry about this, we just go back to where I was. And we use the FFT shift, so Fourier transform shift. So we're going to Fourier transform to the center of it. So that's in figure three. There it is. We don't see that much detail. But what we do see is that the vertical white bar is now transformed into um, a, a horizontal row of dots there in the center of it. So we can't see a lot. Why can't we see a lot? Because the values are so large and we're only at 8 bit display, so it's not great. So what we want to do now is we want to do some sort of transformation, and that's usually uh, by a log transformation here. So what we're saying is uh, my new spectrum is the log of 1 plus the absolute value <coughs> of the above, that's the FC is the very first one and in figure 4 we're going to show the log transformed image and there we are, we see the log transformed and we can see much more detail there scrolling on a little bit here so we now want to uh, undo what we did and obviously if FFT shift is the one that shifts to the centre we now want to undo it that so that's IFFT shift that's the inverse of FFT shift and the command we did before that was FFT FFT2 so the inverse of that is IFFT2 we've done that there and we just go down to the end and there's our reconstructed image so that's the first uh, one and there's nothing too great there but just fairly simple stuff thanks very much for listening